What's going on guys and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Uh, today's tutorial, of course, I'm going to be going over the Vetrix and how to install it on the Wii. Now if you look right here behind me guys, right here, uh, this is the Vetrix playing in the background. A uh, really cool emulator. Uh, if you know anything about the Vetrix, it is a pretty much a black screen with white lines uh, uh, to create a ship or mountains or whatever like that. And uh, back then they had overlays um, that you would put on the screen to create some kind of a landscape or whatever like that. So not, I'm a, not only am I going to show you how to install the Vetrix, but I'm going to also show you how to install overlays in this emulator. It's really cool. I didn't know you could do that uh, until earlier uh, today. I've been playing it, but I've never really gotten into it. So uh, yeah, it's really cool. And you can actually take any picture, guys. Any picture, as long as you got it sized right and all that good stuff, uh, you can put any picture behind this game or any game and and play it. It's, it's really cool. So let's just go on over there, guys, to the computer, and we'll get started. And uh, it's not really that hard to uh, get going, really. So let's let's go on over there and, and, and try this out. Right, cool, man. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. And where can you get the files from? Well, I'm finna show you. Uh, we'll jump over here to our, uh, our website. It's a Mediafire site, actually. Um, uh, this is my personal upload that I had uh, created. Uh, it's got all kinds of goodies in there for you for this particular emulator. Uh, so go ahead and download that, and it will be it'll be a, um, an archive like this right here. Extract it, and you'll have all these goodies in here. Uh, I've got two uh, channels right here that you can... Uh, create on your system menu uh, decide whatever one you want to use okay <laughs> and then uh, of course you got your emulator in here in the apps folder here uh, in the VEC folder here you got all your games um, I do believe there may be some uh, doubles in here or whatever like that uh, you just have to go through them and delete whatever ones you don't want uh, I do believe there's a total of 62 games I think I'm not sure exactly uh, you just have to go through them um, right here guys these are your overlays um, uh, these are all the ones I got I'm not sure if this is all the overlays they ever created I'm not exactly sure but these are not sized you have to resize them yourself uh, these are uh, like this one right here is 320 by 240 they're supposed to be 388 by 480 um, I'll be, I'll be uh, dealing with scramble here that's the game that I'll be dealing with because that is my favorite game on the system. And uh, included is a README text. If you open it up uh, right here, I mentioned that the PNG files must be sized to 388 by 480 and named the exact same way as whatever game you're wanting to use it for. Uh, here's an example here. Uh, here's, a, here's a game, armor.bin. Um, Okay, so you have a you have an overlay that's uh, named this way right here, and you have one that's named this right here. Of course, these are not going to work because it's not named the exact same way. Uh, you have to rename it to this right here, armor.png. Okay, instead of armor.bin, be armor.png. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's go ahead and we'll get started with this and uh, let's, let's open up my uh, my SD card here so in the apps folder we have our uh, our emulator if you don't already have this apps folder on your SD card uh, then just simply just drag and drop this apps folder straight onto the root of your SD card um, if you do, open your apps folder up there, open it up here, and simply just drag and drop it over right into your apps folder, just like that right there. Alright, and that is your emulator. Go back out to your uh, root of your SD card. Now this is, uh, this is optional, uh, this VEC folder. Uh, you can actually boot these games up off your SD card or your hard drive your external hard drive um, I actually use the external hard drive but if 
if you want to use the SD card, just simply just drag and drop it over to the root of your SD card and you'll be good to go. Alright. Alright, so let me open up my hard drive here. And what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to drag and drop this joker <clears throat> right over here on the root of my uh, hard drive. Okay, now guys, uh, for the simply for for the sake of this tutorial, guys, I'm not gonna have every game in here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight every one of them. I'm going down to the only game I'm gonna be dealing with is Scramble. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is find Scramble wherever it's at. Uh, where you at? Okay, right here. All right, so I'm on. I'm on. Uh, oh. No, not that one. That's the one. Right there. That's the only one I'm going to deal with, guys, okay? So I'm going to delete all the other ones. Just for the sake of this tutorial, okay? Okay, so there's my game there, and now our overlay, let's scroll down because uh, you have two different overlays here. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which, what the difference is, uh, but I'm going to go with this one right here. I'm just going to copy it over, and we're going to place it right in there. And by the way, yeah, uh, all these overlays wherever your games are at wherever your games are stored at whatever folder uh that's exactly where these pitch uh these overlays are going to go okay just make sure that uh that you have it named the exact same way this is named the exact same way already it looks like but it's not the same uh the same uh it's supposed to be resized <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that it's supposed to be 388 by 480 all right and then we'll just we'll just simply save that okay so there we go there now we're not done yet guys because I actually wanted to show you something crazy uh, I'm gonna copy this game here and I'm gonna paste it right out here all right so now we got a copy of that game here now I'm gonna go back to the uh, our web browser here we're gonna go over here now I thought this was pretty cool. Um, you can actually take any picture you want. Picture of yourself, whatever you want to do, guys. And as long as you got it named the exact same way your game is and you got it sized right, you can actually <laughs> make that your overlay. It's, it's really cool. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to pick out a cloud here. It's a really cool looking deal here. This looks pretty cool here now. We can go with ah uh, no because it's got trees in it. I don't like that. That that messed it all up. Okay, let's try something like uh, oh man, come on. Let's see. Now that this looks pretty. That looks pretty cool there. What do you what do you think? You think that looks pretty cool? I don't know. <laughs> that looks pretty cool there but it's got landscape I don't want any landscape in it because of the fact I mean you got little mountains going across the screen and then you got the background just sitting still I don't, I don't like that so all right let's just go back up here and uh, we'll probably end up Picking this one. Let's go to view more here and see what it's got going on. Golly, man, it's got dog on. Come on. How about this one? Uh oh. Oh, that's that's the same one. Okay. I'm spending too much time on this. Okay, let's just go with this one. How about that? All right, we'll, we'll go to save image. All right. And we'll, we'll get out of this 
And let's drop this. Let's let's close this joker here out. Minimize that there. And here's our picture here. Let's go ahead and we'll. Oh, hold on. Ah, oh, shoot. All right, I'm getting too big of a hurry here. All right, so there's our picture there. And we are going to simply rename it first. You don't have to. You can resize it first if you want to. Uh, copy the name of it and simply make that the same name, okay? And then we want to go to here to edit and resize. What did I say? Three, 388, right? Uh, 480. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's cool. That's cool. I think that worked really well. Okay, so there we go, guys. There's our games. Uh, we got it on our uh, external hard drive. Uh, of course, some of you will have it on your SD card. Whatever. It don't matter. Um, so, uh, yeah. That's that. And I got two, two different uh, channels here that you can choose from I'll be going over that too I might as well just go ahead and go over how to install a channel also so let's just go ahead and do this and uh, yeah let's go over to the Wii guys and uh, we'll see what's going on here alright guys so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to create a channel and uh, how you do that is you have to have a wad manager so uh, I use Water Manager 1.7. I also got a Water Manager 1.8, and there's also another, like a multi mod manager you can use, whatever. But uh, simply press A to bring up your iOS here, and you're gonna hit your uh, uh, navigate your iOS with your D pad. Just navigate to 236, hit the A button. And uh, wherever your uh, your file is at, mine's on the uh, SD, slot, SD card. So I'm gonna use the Wii SD slot. Hit the A button. And simply just navigate to wherever your uh, wide file is at. Mine's in the wide folder, so I'm gonna scroll down to Master Shoes. Uh, right here, here. So once you find your file, just hit the A button, and then hit the A button again to install it. And that's just simple as that. Hit the A button, then hit your home button to exit out. And you're good. You're good to go. I want to let you guys know that uh, this emulator is compatible with the GameCube controller, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll go right into it. That's pretty neat too. Okay, so once we get here, guys, uh, you scroll down to cartridge, hit your uh, number two button to select whatever uh, device that you have your games on. If you if you have it on USB, of course, uh, you're going to go to USB. Uh, if you don't have it on USB, if you don't have the USB hooked up, then you're not going to have the option of USB at all whatsoever. You're just going to have NA and SD. Um, so... Whatever, whatever one you got, <laughs> you know, selected. Whatever one you got selected, uh, USB. Just hit, simply hit uh, up and down on your uh, D-pad here to select your game. Uh, I'm gonna go with Scrabble, uh, the first Scrabble here, and then you want to go up here to turn Vectrix on. All right. Now, uh, again. If you don't see your 
the game coming up just hit this right here go down to overlay and hit your number two button go to opacity uh, then just slowly just bring it down until you see your game come through your overlay just like that right there all right and then hit your uh, number two button and then hit resume game now this picture here uh, I have I've noticed that uh, it is a little smaller than what that game actually is so uh, the 388 by 480 is actually a little too small um, I'm not and two, the emulator doesn't it doesn't have any sound to it uh, I'm still trying to figure that out I'm not sure if there's something I'm doing wrong or whatever uh, but you guys uh, do a little research or whatever like that, but I, I cannot figure out how to get sound on this thing. And two, uh, I got the I got the overlay at uh, oh boy, I've got the overlay at 388 by 480, so that's too small. So I'm guessing it's 388 might be too small, or is it 480 might be too small? I can't remember. If the width or height comes first I cannot exactly remember all right so let's let's go uh, let's go to our next one here we'll go to turn vectrix off to choose another game all right so I'm gonna choose the copy version of it because you remember I got that uh, <laughs> the clouds <laughs> the, Ooh, why did I do that for golly okay Turn Vectrix on. I've got to, I've got to tell you guys, uh, when you go to uh, edit any kind of picture, uh, make sure it's a PN, you save it as a PNG file. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to work. <laughs> You're not going to be able to see it. But uh, let's just try this right here. <laughs> see now the picture what the, what's going on here did I ha did I not size the picture right to begin with or what see see now that's that's right so I must have uh hold on a minute I must have uh, uh oh shoot But yeah, that this picture is right, and I got it 388 by 480. I'm, I must have accidentally resized the other one wrong, I guess. Did I? But anyway, this gives you an idea anyway. This is what it's supposed to be. And if anybody gets sound working on this game uh please let me know how you did it because this is a really really cool game so i guess i'm gonna end the tutorial here guys um i want to thank you guys for watching and uh i hope this helps you guys out on this kind of emulator it wasn't that hard really it wasn't but uh i hope it helped you out with the overlay part of it anyway um so yeah like i said um i want to point one more thing out that if you go to joystick you can go to gamecube controller and hit a resume game and uh i don't have any you know what i don't have my control my gamecube controller hooked up to my wii so it's not gonna work okay all right but anyway, yeah, the GameCube controller will work with this. Uh, I did it earlier today, so yeah. I don't feel like getting up and hooking my controller up, so I just let y'all know. Okay, uh, guys, I'll see y'all guys later. Uh, I might do a Let's Play maybe tomorrow or something. I don't know yet, but I thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight and... Uh, Hopefully y'all learned something. Uh, hopefully I ain't wasting my time. But, you know, anyway. Y'all have a good one. Keep gaming. And I'll see y'all guys next time. Thanks.